first of all let us start with the chromosomal disorders when we talk about chromosomal disorders the classification can further be made based upon whether it is abnormality in the number or abnormality in the structure so first is the abnormality or disorders in the number they are called as aneuploidies so abnormal number of chromosome if there is it is not 46 any change in that is there that is called as aneuploidy aneuploidies are can be of many varieties there are two common ver versions first of them are trisomies right trisomy will be extra chromosome one extra chromosome of that particular chromosome appearing for example trisomy 21 when we say trisomy 21 instead of 221 chromosome the person has three chromosomes and second is monosomy will be seen in uh, some patients of turner syndrome then you have disorders of the structure in disorders of the structure the overall number will be same but individual structure can be changed the first variety is translocations translocation means shifting of the genetic material there can be further two types of translocations there can be balanced translocations and there can be inverted translocations then you have inversions inverted translocation is a different thing inversion is a different thing inversion basically means the gene sequence gets changed suppose you have a chromosome like this right this is the chromosome and this particular gene was present gene a was here gene b was there something happened and now the chromosome is same but now b chromosome is here and a is here this particular segment we will say it has undergone inversion so inversion means shifting or 180 degree turning of the particular genetic segment it does not involve the entire chromosome a particular segment of the chromosome is involved third is deletions now deletions are very important deletions are very frequently seen there are common deletions large gene deletions are incompatible with life but micro deletions occurring in specific chromosomal locus produce a lot of disorders so deletion you can remember many of them which are compatible with life are micro deletions and accordingly we have micro deletion syndromes a common micro deletion syndrome is di george syndrome which of the following is a micro deletion syndrome is your neat super speciality mcq so please remember there is a complete list we'll be discussing later so di george syndrome di george syndrome if you remember it involves micro deletion in 22q 11.2 right second micro deletion syndrome is william syndrome where chromosome 7q11 is involved and micro deletion occur other than that there is a long list which includes rubinstein type syndrome and uh, a, a whole host uh, prader willi syndrome subvariants can also have micro deletions so these are the micro deletions that you need to remember another fourth variety of disorder of chromosomal structure is duplication the same gene may become duplicated so see a particular gene if it is present in two forms if there are two copies of it it may not be causing any problem but if three copies start to exist then it may start producing problems or disease may be produced a typical example of that is a gene called as app gene if you remember app gene is present on chromosome 21 app gene is responsible for alzheimer's disease and it is seen that certain down syndrome children when they have three copies of chromosome 21 they also have three copies of app gene that is why down syndrome has early onset alzheimer disease there are other patients who do not have down syndrome but still they tend to have duplication of the app gene so any patient suppose if i am that person and somehow due to my bad luck i don't have down syndrome anything but there was duplication of app gene on chromosome 21 on the same chromosome two copies were created so what is now happening one chromosome has one copy another chromosome has two copies so because duplication happened now three copies of app gene are present and so i will develop alzheimer disease earlier more severe than others so duplication of particular genes can cause particular disorders moving to ring chromosomes ring chromosomes are 
just the name itself says they are like a ring. Whenever there will be cutting or uh, of the chromosome or there will be deletion at the end of chromosome, sometimes sticky ends are produced and P and Q chromosome, they can be joined to each other producing the ring chromosome. And finally, we have isochromosome. Isochromosome phenomena is very interesting. What happens in isochromosome? Let us now try to understand the phenomena of isochromosome. To understand this, what is happening? What happens in a normal, whenever there is uh, normal cell division, it is happening. Diploid to haploid cells are separating. What happens at that time? In a normal person, there will be a chromosome with two P arms. There will be a central centromere and there will be two Q arms, right? Whenever they will separate, the separation will occur longitudinally so that th the chromosomes which will be formed, they will be like this. So, each copy will have one P and one Q chromosome. There will be equal division of the set of genes. The diploid, when they turn into haploid, there will be equal division. And similarly, the other gamete which is coming, ovum or sperm, he, that will also have a similar copy. Then they will combine and so you will have all these genetic reassortments happening. This is what happens normally, right? In patients with isochromosome, in isochromosome formation, you will have the this division not occurring longitudinally, occurring transversely like this. So, you will have a phenomena where the it looks something like this. It divides, producing one haploid copy with two P arms and one haploid copy with two Q arms. And obviously, they, when they will fuse with their corresponding ovum or sperm, the one which is having only P arm will be deficient in all genes present on Q arm. And correspondingly, this one will be deficient in all genes present on small arm, short arm, that is P arm. And so, isochromosomes, many times they are lethal in utero. Those who survive, if they survive, they usually have severe multi-system disorder associated with deletions of the missing arm. Most of them are actually lethal in utero. It is very rare to find, but this is a very interesting phenomena of isochromosome. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.